guys welcome to this video tutorial where I want to show you how to install the Sigma theme uh, pretty much from the beginning I'm going to show you how to down how to install WordPress then install the Sigma theme and we're going to walk through a series of video tutorials to help get you started and, and get you on the way with this amazing theme with the animated SVGs and everything so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm because I'm on a Macintosh I'm using MAMP to create a local um, environment so that I can install WordPress so on the PC you you might be using WAMP um, so the first thing that I need to do is set up my database so I'm going to go in here we're just going to set this up now so we're just going to call it Sigma and we'll create that database there so then the next thing that we need to do is if we go to our uh, just going to open up a new window here and what I've done is in the root directory I've already created a folder called Sigma so if I just go to that folder now with the URL obviously it's just going to find the directory structure so what I've done is I've already downloaded WordPress so this is WordPress 4.5 so this is here so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move all these files into here so we can close that down now to get that off the screen so that's WordPress 4.5 into the root directory so if I hit that now we'll now get the install screen for WordPress so if I move down here oh, where am I? English UK so we just start configuring WordPress for the main install now so there we go it's, it's ready it needs a database name and, and the username and password so database name is Sigma and I'm just going to black these out so you can't actually see the usernames and then if we click the submit button it tells us that we're ready to install WordPress so we run the install so we just give it a title so I'm going to call it Sigma obviously but you'll give it your your project name username admin I'm going to keep that password uh, you know the password that I want and then our email address or my email address just stick that in there so install WordPress so there we go we've got WordPress installed so if we actually now go to the front end of that URL you'll see we get the default theme for WordPress so that's all installed ready if you wanted to use that but the whole point of this video just tutorial to show you how to install Sigma so I'm going to log in now to the back end of, uh, of our install of WordPress so we're into the back end of WordPress here so the first thing that we need to do is go to appearance themes so then we're going to upload the new Sigma theme so add new we're going to click on upload theme so then we're waiting here for the upload and then in the window behind here here's the folder that you'll have downloaded from theme forest with the folder structure and then in there you've got WP uh, Sigma dot zip so this is the theme that we want to upload so I'm just going to install that now so there we go it's installing the theme uh, so we can activate that straight away so we click the activate button and then if we go back to the front end of our WordPress install you'll see now that we've got the default styling for the Sigma theme so our first first stage all with really there so what we want to do now is we want to install the demo content to give you all the pages and layouts uh, so you can start editing them so what we'll do first of all to be able to do that we need to install the plugins so if we click on begin installing plugins and then we get the full list of plugins here so if I just select all of those and click and select install and then apply that what this will do is it'll start running through and downloading all the plugins uh, from our service space so there we go we've got confirmation that all the plugins have been installed so all we need to do now return to required plugin install we click that and then we get all the plugins here again so all we do select all the plugins again or the ones that you want to use within Sigma theme but if we're using the demo content I'd advise to select all of those uh, and then all we need to do is activate all of these so we've selected activate click apply to that and just give it a few seconds um, to, to activate all those plugins so there we go we get the confirmation now that the plugins are all installed so again the front end of the website for refresh that nothing's going to change because we haven't installed any demo content yet but we have installed everything ready for the demo content with the plugins so the next thing that we're going to do go back to the dashboard so now we're back on the dashboard and then once we've gone to the dashboard we can go to appearance theme options and then you'll see here we get all the options for the, the Sigma theme now so what we want to do is we're going to import the demo content 
so import export and you get the options here you do get some uh, information here about the best configuration for the sigma theme but we can get away with this it just depends on how much data you're trying to install with the demo but i think we can get away with that on, on uh, using a local host so what we'll do now is we, so if i just show you this screen we've got the automotive the construction the law the, uh, the logistics theme and the main Sigma corporate theme. There's going to be more themes added over the weeks as the, th the theme grows and gets even more successful. So for this in, uh, demo purpose, we're going to click the install button here for the main Sigma theme. And you'll see here we get our progress bar across the, th the data that we're going to install. So we just let that run now. So there we go. We've got uh, confirmation that the settings have been saved and the demo contents in there. So what we can do if we go to the front end of the site and we just refresh that, you'll see that we do get the Sigma. So we get the loading animation and we'll get the main page loading up here with the placeholder images. So there you go. So that, again, we can't supply images, uh, sorry, because it, with licensing restrictions, but we do have all the page layouts and we do have references to all the images where we've purchased them from in the Shutterstock uh, library with all the references and everything. So, but if we scroll down here, you can see you get the whole page layout that we need um, to put that demo content in there. And then the next video tutorial that I'm going to create is going to show you how to configure the uh, mega menus because as default, we can't install a mega menu straight out of the box because default WordPress doesn't support mega menu. So the next video tutorial will show you how to configure this, th these menus to be mega menus, just like the main demo. So we're going to show you that on the next video tutorial. So like I said, keep following these video tutorials and we'll walk you through how to, to configure and change the content on the sites and look at all the different layouts and uh, generally get you up and running with your project. So thanks very much for watching and uh, see you in the next video tutorial where I'll show you how to do the mega menus. Thanks very much.